Hello and welcome to my short tutorial about the add-on Super Guild Invite for World of Warcraft. So I have been experimenting with the uh, Super Guild Invite for a while now and I can say it's uh, very helpful for getting my uh, members for getting members uh, to my guild. So um, what I'm trying to do here is to uh, make you acquainted with the add-on Super Guild Invite. Um, before we start with uh, explanation of the, the GUI and the graphic user face and uh, its uh, limitations and features, I want to express that the, um, the tool is very powerful. And you have to keep in mind that if you want to use this add-on, you will be um, contacting other people uh, for joining your guild. And people can experience uh, the invitations as annoying or, well, Let's say um, I had some really uh, funny uh, answers to my invitations, like uh, that varies from uh, do you want to pay me uh, gold to join your guild to um, uh, well I don't know yet but I will be shortly later on to decide about it and well uh, and I have had some insults as well so <laughs> keep in mind that it's um, uh, a very powerful tool is based on the who uh, command in World of Warcraft so you can filter uh, about anything any any who um, uh, which class you want to join your guild which levels so it can be very specific or you can be very global I have chosen to be very global to um, because I think that personality is more important than indubitably yeah I know um, it's more important to the personality and, and the character than the character they are playing on World of Warcraft uh, mostly they have more outs and, um, so they uh, tend to uh, subscribe an out to another a guild uh, for specific purposes to be short, uh, I'm going to show you Super Guild Invite, uh, which I have installed through Curse.com. Uh, I really can um, um, endorse the, the use of Curse.com a client uh, because it's very, uh, very simple, and you can get your updates very, very fast. And it's uh, well, it's a good program. I've been using it for about a year or two, three, I think and uh, it's very helpful for me to uh, install new add-ons uh, so uh, so my experience can be uh, a little bit better in World of Warcraft so let's uh, let's uh, see what the Super Guild Invite can do first of all we're gonna start up the uh, Super Guild Invite by clicking on the icon and the minimap uh, you can put it off or on uh, I will show you later on um, I think it's better to put it off if I, yeah, yeah, it could be better because it's get it's getting very uh, crowded there at the, the minimap, so you can put it off. But it's very handy, very quick. You can click it, and there it is. So let's do that. Well, I'm using Super Guild Invite 7.2.2 at this moment. Uh, so keep in mind if you are uh, going to install it and going to use it, it may vary vary. Um, by a different version, an updated version of it, or maybe this version, I don't know. Um, first of all, the invite mode is very important. Um, you get invite only, invite then whisper, and whisper only. Now, I can say for sure that you can better use invite only and invite than whisper, because whisper only is very polite, but you have to get, uh, you have to do a lot of actions afterwards to invite the person because you have to uh, manually invite the person if they accept so you have to type in slash g invite and then the user and the realm because we have cross, uh, cross uh, uh, how do you call that uh, merge realms nowadays so that's got to be a little bit different 
Um, so I urge you to invite only or invite and whisper. I personally use invite and whisper because it's it has a little personal touch and people don't get offended too easily because they had a whisper before uh, they got the invite. About the invites, uh, let's go straight to that. Customize whisper. Well, you can add uh, your own whispers. Um, like, uh, let's try this. Uh, hello, player. And the name will be inserted of the target. Uh, have you considered joining? And then, name, of course, of your guilds. With level, and then you can, and then you can say uh, level. I believe, yeah, we can do that with level. With level, with level, level. We are, are searching uh, players for dungeons, raids. Etc. and leveling of course and have a good time. Now you can uh, most you can can do anything you want with this, um, but, but but keep in mind that you want to attract some kind of people to join your guild, and your guild has a theme mostly. Uh, some they have a mixed guild like like I have. And some have a RP guild, or some have a PV PvP guild, or a PvE guild, or a raiding guild, or whatever. I'm trying to establish uh, uh, some departments, a department in RP, a department in PvP, so groups can join those uh, departments. And um, so you have very, uh, very, var var uh, uh, various people online. So keep that in mind. Well, how are you going to test it? You're going to save this, save, and well, you hover above it, and you can see, "Hello, Thalagus, have have considered." Oh my God, I made a terrible mistake there. So, have you considered? Not considered, of course. Considered. Have you considered joining name? Blah blah blah. We as one. That's our guild. I'm looking for new and old players. Oops, there we go again. Uh, with level 25, we are searching players for danger rates, etc. Level of course, and level of time. So that's basically it. You can uh, put in six whispers, so you get the various kind of messages sent to the, um, the, 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 the the guild members you want to attract. So we're gonna save this one. The console. So that's what's concerning about the customized whispers. You can mute uh, SGI. Uh, I don't do that because I want to see what SGI does. You have some advanced scan options. You see these disappeared. And there they come again. Race filter start, class filter start, and interval. So you can be very specific about the persons you are looking for. Uh, you can choose. No, I'm sorry, that's another thing. Go to filters, add some filters, and there you see you can add classes, races. Uh, you have to give the filter a name, of course. A name exceptions, level ranges, and vowels, and cons, etc. So you can be very specific for the people you are looking for. Um, you can change these uh, values just by uh, scroll uh, scroll button on your mouse, and you go up and down, and you can change the limits, the race filters, the intervals, and the class filter starts. So that's that. Hide outgoing whispers. Now I normally don't do that. I hide the system mess messages, but I don't hide outgoing whispers because I want to um, sometimes scroll back and look who I invited. Uh, sometimes they come back after five minutes and then they ask me, "Can you join me? Can you invite me, please?" And then I don't or do know uh, who I invited. So that's very handy uh, not to. Uh, mark this one. Uh, high minimap button, as I said uh, earlier in this small tuto small tutorial, is that you can hide that button. And 
I think I'm gonna leave it there because it's very simple to use. Uh, run SuperScan in the background. I don't do that because I want to know what SuperScan is exactly doing. Because I'll show you. I'll put SuperScan on, and you see here a little button and uh, a little frame window where you can see that uh, SuperGal Invite is working for you. So. You can pause it if you like, you can start again, you purge the list if you want to. Um, I think it's very handy to see this because uh, if it's running in the background you forget about it. So I don't uh, do, it, do this in the background. And enable filtering of, filtering of course if you want to. Personally I don't do that because I want to invite people just the way I like it. Uh, a lot of people so I can see uh, who is online and what they are doing. Um, what you can do is choose your invites, so I'll scroll and you can see I've got three people there and now I can decide if I send them a message yes or no and I can show you this one and you can see uh, on the left uh, on the screen that we have invited Borna um, sometimes they decline, sometimes they accept and well that's the purpose of this program it's very busy right now so i am in luck if i want to get some new guild members today normally i just press about seven or eight times keep in mind that people can be annoyed by this so don't do this use it wisely as i said um let's see what we have a new guild member so i'm gonna welcome them so they know that I've invited them and uh, mostly I chat a, a little bit with them and so I can see what, what kind of personality, what kind of person this is so we can uh, make some arrangements if they want to um, lead a group of people or they just want to join and see what happens. So this is basically it for Super Guild Invite 7.2.2. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please um, give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to this channel. I will put more uh, small tutorials for you um, uh, concerning World of Warcraft, but maybe I'll also other stuff. But this is purely for World of Warcraft and its add ons. So I hope to see you next time and I say have a fun time with Super Guild and Pipe. And for now, cheerio. Woohoo!